and in today's video we're uh, going to change your tap washer so welcome to our how to handyman series and let's go Right, most properties, like here in Australia, there'll be a tap at the front of the property somewhere and all we have to do is screw that all the way down and that will turn the water off. Once the water's been turned off at the front, what we need to do is let the water pressure go within the pipes or when we go over to the shower over there, what'll happen is we'll get wet. So we'll let it go. Now that should let the water pressure out and you'll know that you've turned the water off properly if the water in this tap, which is another tap in the house somewhere, goes off. So that's let the water pressure out. So what we'll do now is we'll come around to the shower and we'll take the, you know it was a cold tap that was dripping because it was cold water coming out. So this particular type of tap's nice and easy to sort out. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the, oh he says it's easy to pull, not always that easy. There we go, pops off, handle pops off, and then we unscrew. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to take this section here out um, to get behind to get to the um, to the rubber. So just give me two secs and we'll get a spanner for that. In this case, we'll just put it in and turn. And there we go. And what we'll do is we'll pull that out and this is the offending item in here, if I can get to it, we might need a pair of pliers to get in there, right, so we've got a set of pliers, let's pull the offending rubber out, it doesn't look too bad but there's a little bit of wear on that so we'll just replace that with a, with a new one. Okay, all we need to do is we've got the barrel. Now the tap washer just goes straight into the end like so and then that can go back into the wall. We've got a nice uh, pipe washer and then we've got a, a spanner that'll just go straight in and we can screw that back straight back in. And put the tap back in the hole. Tighten it back up. And that is how quick and how simple it is to change a tap washer. This is going to need a bit of a clean. We'll give this a clean up for them afterwards as well. Put that back on. And we'll back in. Now, some place in the world you need to get a plumber to come and do this. Um, it depends on where you are as to whether you're allowed to do this, but as you can see, changing a tap washer over is really simple. We'll just close that off. Make sure that's tight, and then we're gonna turn the water back on. And then all we do is everything in reverse, turn it anti-clockwise, and that'll turn the water to the property back on again, and we're away to go. Okay, we're back inside now, just checking the shower's okay. We'll just turn it on. Put it back on and just wait for the water to come out of it. Just a little bit of the head there. Job's done, nice and tight. Just repeat the same process for the hot water as well. And uh, yeah, you change your tap washer, stopped dripping tap and saved yourself a bit of water. So that's great. And so yeah, until next time. <laughs> 